I yes. Think I work for Proton Mail. I just want to ask a generic question for Bitcoin. Proton Thank Mail you. is awesome. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, do you believe Bitcoin can survive government intervention and or regulation on a global scale? Like, let's say, the big countries decide. I have never seen global collaboration between countries on regulating anything. <laughs> so, if the governments of the world can't get their ass into gear to deal with global warming, that is literally a threat to the tiny little blue lifeboat we are hurtling through the cosmos on. You think they're going to get together and agree on Bitcoin, especially when strategically they're all thinking, well, if Bitcoin happens, I'm fucked. <laughs> but those guys are more fucked than me. <laughs> so maybe if we let it happen, it can cause them to have a currency problem before it causes us to have a currency problem, and then we win. Um, and I'm not joking about that, because I'm pretty sure that would be a, the kind of calculation that you would see in a lot of countries that um, are thinking about whether right, Bitcoin should be regulated. And so they regulate it. So what? So what? What are they going to do? Threaten people with death if they use Bitcoin? They already do that in some countries. And guess what people will do? They'll use Bitcoin, and then when the policeman comes, they'll bribe the policeman in Bitcoin. And up the chain it goes until the head of the state is stuffing a wallet full of Bitcoin. The bottom line is that in countries where the rule of law matters, money is a form of speech. Freedom of association, freedom of expression, freedom of speech protects political expression through currency. In the United States, we put that into a United States Supreme Court decision on the Citizens United that said you can't regulate campaign contributions because money is speech. So in countries where the rule of law matters, you pick that fight head on with Bitcoin, and we're going to take it all the way to the Supreme Court. Do you know how many lawyers per day Mark Andreessen can hire? Um, and the problem is that they may lose. And losing on a decision that says Bitcoin is protected speech is much worse than the status quo, which is kind of gray. So that's not going to happen. And in countries where the rule of Putin is the rule of law. <laughs> Ban Bitcoin, they say, and nobody gives a damn. Bitcoin is evil. Really? You say it's evil? I better look into this. <laughs> because every time you say something is evil, it's because it's good for me and bad for you. and I don't like you. <laughs> this is happening in Venezuela right now. You're like, Bitcoin is the currency of terrorists, pedophiles, extremists, and criminals. Don't pay attention to our 550% inflation rate. <laughs> and please leave your money in the currency of choice and go with us to the bottom as hostages of our insane policies. And what are some obviously technically literate, a very tiny percentage of the population in Venezuela are probably now thinking, really? Hmm. I should look into this.